Wolframalpha has many parts, but they're really four sort of uh, big pillars of, uh, of technology. Uh, the first is curated data. We've accumulated a great deal of data in Wolfram Alpha, um, and we have this sort of industrial pipeline for organizing this data, uh, validating the data, having experts uh, give us judgments about the data, um, and setting it up so that we can really um, have the data in a form where it can be combined with other data and so on. So that's sort of the, the first um, big, big kind of pillar of technology in Wolfram Alpha is, the, is this uh, curated data mechanism. Uh, a second big pillar is the ability to actually do computations with this data, to really sort of take the methods and models and equations and formulas and so on that science and engineering and other areas have developed over the course of a long period of time and really have all of these things be encoded algorithmically um, in Wolfram Alpha so that when they're needed, um, they can be applied, whether it's for computing the tides or whether it's for working out some kind of uh, financial uh, instrument or, or all sorts of other things, to, re to really have all of these um, uh, possible computations immediately available for use in Wolfram Alpha. So sort of those are the, the first two elements, the curated data, the sort of uh, immediate uh, algorithmic computation. Uh, a third big element is uh, linguistic processing, the ability to sort of take free-form linguistic input uh, and be able to understand it to the point where we can do computation, retrieve appropriate data to be able to sort of uh, respond to the, to the input. It's been a kind of a, a long problem to try and get computers to understand natural language. We sort of have the reverse of that problem in Wolfram Alpha. Uh, we're dealing with um, trying to sort of take short utterances that people type into the input field and sort of map them on to the, the precise sort of symbolic representation that corresponds to the kinds of computations that Wolfram Alpha can do. So that's sort of the third component of Wolfram Alpha is our uh, linguistic processing. We've invented many new methods for, for doing that. Uh, the fourth component is um, being able to really present the results in as clear a way as possible, sort of automating the process of uh, presenting things, both in terms of figuring out what kinds of data to present and figuring out sort of how data that might be given visually should be shown. And we've sort of developed this methodology we call it computational aesthetics um, that allows us to sort of optimize the appearance of, uh, of data so that it's sort of uh, most easy to, uh, to get sort of a cognitive handle on what, what you're seeing. Now, in a sense, what we're, what we're achieving with these four different things, the curated data, um, algorithmic computation, uh, linguistic processing, uh, automated presentation, what we're achieving in a sense is to try and uh, have Wolfram Alpha be able to sort of uh, uh, provide expert level knowledge but deliver it in a way that requires no sort of expert uh, um, involvement, uh, being able to sort of use uh, free form uh, linguistic input um, being able to sort of automate the presentation so that we're, we're just getting the things that are important. Uh, kind of the goal is to provide expert level knowledge, um, but to be able to provide it to, to, to anyone.